The Samsung T7 is a modern classic in the world of computers and tech because this thing is so sleek and minimal and it's been reliable for so many people. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the Samsung T7, show the speeds that you can expect to get on it and why I really do recommend buying this even in 2024. So whenever you unbox the T7, you're gonna notice this thing is very lightweight. It's small, it's compact. It's just got such a sleek exterior look to it. And there's a couple different colors available in it. Also in the box, you will find you get a USB-C to USB-A cable. It's a nice medium length. And then there's also another cable, the USB-C to USB-C cable. I've always really appreciated that Samsung gives these medium length cables. Some of the cables SSDs include are really short and if you need to be a little bit farther away from a computer or if you're using a Mac mini or another desktop computer, they're not always long enough. This cable is flexible enough that you can make it farther away or you can also fold it up easily, have it right up next to your computer as well. So the cable selection by Samsung is really great. On the box, Samsung does say that you can hit speeds up to 1,050 megabytes a second. From my testing, if I use it in XFAT on my Mac, I get about 828 on the right and about 680 on the read. But whenever I format it to APFS, I average about 820 and 800 on both the read and the write. So I'm able to get a little bit faster read speeds in APFS using my MacBook Pro. The T7 is very small and lightweight. It measures about 3.3 inches deep, 2.2 inches wide, and it measures about 0.3 inches thick. It weighs just about 2.5 ounces, so this thing is super lightweight. You do get a three-year warranty with this drive. Samsung rates it for drops up to about six and a half feet, but they don't give you an IP rating on this, and this doesn't feel quite as durable as some of the other rubber-coated drives that are on the market. Notably, Samsung also has the T7 Shield, which promises an IP65 rating, and it also can survive a 9.5 foot drop. It also is significantly bigger than this drive though. So if you want the absolute slimmest, sleekest drive, the T7 is gonna be a great option for you. I've had really good luck with this recording video directly from a camera using the USB-C cable. These are super popular for that. You can get really nice clamps from Small Rig and other companies to attach it directly to your camera. Then you're able to offload your files super fast from an SSD like this. A couple other features of this drive, you are able to encrypt it using Samsung's Magician software. I wasn't able to get the Magician software to work on my Mac, it might work better on Windows, but if you do encrypt the drive using the Samsung Magician software, you won't be able to use this on an iPad or an iPhone. And that's one of the great things about this drive, it's just got great cross-platform compatibility, whether you're using Windows, Linux, Mac, iPhones, iOS, it doesn't matter. This drive is gonna perform great. A couple of real world speed tests with this drive. I was able to move 50 gigabytes in about one minute, which feels really fast to me. This isn't gonna be quite as fast as if you use a newer drive that's gonna use Thunderbolt on a Mac. If you wanna buy one of the drives that say they support the dual lane speeds, you're not gonna be able to get those speeds on a Mac. So this is a great option if you don't want the absolute highest speeds you can get on Mac. But if you do have the dual lane option, you might look into buying the Samsung T9 instead because that is gonna be a faster drive than this. I also did some testing with running my Final Cut libraries off of this and just doing some other photo and video editing projects on it. This is a fast SSD, but it's not as fast as the built-in SSDs on your Mac computer. So it's hard for me to recommend using this over using your built-in SSD because that's gonna give you a lot faster performance. But most people aren't gonna have any issues with reading or writing directly off of this and doing file transfers and stuff like that. I just really like having the fastest possible speeds. I also didn't have any issues with this bogging down whenever I was doing video editing, but if you're doing large file transfers, about 500 gigabytes or so, you may notice that as the transfer is running longer, the transfer speed will slow down a little bit. So this one won't be as good for transferring a ton of files at once as some of the more pro level SSDs. The Samsung T7 is available in 500 gigabyte, one terabyte, two terabyte, and four terabyte configurations. And you're gonna notice that the pricing on these is all over the place depending on what sales are going on. So I recommend just checking between all the different sizes that are available and the colors and see what the best deal that you're gonna be able to find. I do have links for this drive in the description if you are interested in buying it. Samsung also now has the T7 Shield and they have the T9, which are more durable drives in this one. They have higher drop ratings and they also give IP ratings. And the T9 also tests 
technically supports 2000 megabytes a second, but on a Mac, you're not actually gonna be able to hit those speeds because it requires the dual lane standard to be able to do that. So the T7 is still gonna be a really great option if you want a sleek and minimal portable SSD, but I would buy the T7 Shield if you wanna drive, it's gonna be a little bit more durable. Buy the T9 if you are gonna be able to take advantage of those dual lane speeds on your computer. So who do I recommend the Samsung T7 for? This is a great drive for gamers, for people who are looking to back up photos or videos, or if you're needing to just expand a little bit of space on your computer, it's gonna be a great place to upload files to really fast. You can also get by with editing photos and videos on this, and you can even record videos from your iPhone or a compatible camera with this SSD as well. So this is gonna be a really great versatile option. Just note you're not gonna be able to get the maximum possible speeds of an SSD, with the T7 because it will cap out at around 800 megabytes a second on both the read and the write in the real world. If you have any other questions about the Samsung T7, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.